I don't want you to really ever hit a hundred percent. I don't. I don't want you to hit. You don't want me to give a hundred percent to the podcast. Finally, you've gotten the message. Awesome. Okay, twenty. Um, can we hit for fifth? Uh, uh, fine, sixty. Can I get you at sixty-nine percent? No, no, we're not gonna do that. Um, welcome to Word Rango, the game show where dictionary definitions produce knowledge and comedy. Four words enter, one word leaves, and is crowned champion. Our steely nerve competitors, a writer, another writer, a voice actor, and that other guy. And now, it's gloves off. And set your dictionaries to fun. It's time for Word Rango. Here's your host, Mike Suzek. Welcome to Word Rango. My name is Mike Suzek. It's episode 55. It's going to be good. A lot of fun. I'm joined this week by Bob Ball. Mm, I don't have anything funny to say here. And Ryan Lewis. Not Dave. That, I'm not, not Dave. Dave. All right, well, just off to shut a great up, start. dude. I'm not Dave. Like, what the? F- I mean, what do you want me to do? Nope. <laughs> no, there's no Dave Hinkle this week. He's out, and that's fine. You know, it's nice. He he puts in a lot of hours here at the Word Rango Factory, and for him to take a little time off, I think, is understandable. So we're going to truck on ahead with three words for you guys this week. Uh, we don't have to worry about Dave starting things out because he didn't win last week. Last week's winner was Bob. Bob, you won with Bob! With, Bob! You, know, nobody, Bob! You, you do that chance every once in a while, and nobody ever does it with you, so I don't know why you keep trying. <laughs> uh, you won with Falderall. Pretty sweet word. I think I think there are better Bob Ball words out there yet, and I'm curious what uh, what you think one of those ones are. So please tell us, what's your word this week? This word is, oh, it's so good. It's ah, magnifique. This word is... Magnifique? <laughs> no. The word is officious. Oh, officious. officious. Okay. Officious. Uh, O-F-F-I-C-I-O-U-S? <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay. Now, do you, do you want me to help you with your definition? No, I hate when you ask that yeah. because you're Are, the worst definition giver on... The, I'm just kidding. Sorry, Bob. No, uh, I, I, I like... Even when I trudge through this sometimes, I like the feeling of knowing that I did it. You know what I mean? It's like a little kid that pooped for the first time. I, in... I know exactly what you mean. Now, do you want some help? No, no, no. I, I Let me do this. I will go first. So, officious is when your boss is one of those uh, fake mounted talking fish things. You know, the ones <laughs> where you press the... You, and they play like pr- fucking like, ain't nothing but a hound dog. And like, <laughs> exactly. like, Your boss like, is Billy Bass. It's Billy Bass, the loudmouth bass. Oh, that's, that's like, because <laughs> it's an official fish. It's officious. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, you push the button. It's like, oh, give me those reports. I want to buy this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a talking fish, but it's like, oh, man, that fucking fish. is just, it's really riding us hard this week, you know? <laughs> I'm putting in all these extra hours at the Word Rango factory. And, you know, why does Dave get to go home? I still have all this work to do. I mean, he's really sucking up to this officious quite a bit. Uh, so, I don't know. I figure it's, you know... I'm so used to seeing those like on the walls of like, you know, grandparents' houses or something instead of, uh, you know, maybe they move up the chain someday. Maybe they do might wind up getting, you know, some sort of position of relative authority, you know, be it at some sort of company, uh, like a mid-level company or something. And maybe they're like, uh, you know, like a middle manager fish or something, <laughs> you know, I thought, <laughs> I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> With uh, the company part, I thought you were gonna you were talking like they'd be like the like the manager at like one of those like what is it like Spencer's gifts at the mall where it's like <laughs> fucking just like fake poo and stuff like that. Sure, like, working your way up, man. Like <laughs> sure, I mean it's just like imagine if imagine you're going to Spencer's and you're really dissatisfied with their service. Which <laughs> let's go think talk about it. to the fish. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> like I'd like to speak to your manager, please. And out comes this fish. That'd be so great. Like. You like walk in there and you're like, dude, this fake poo doesn't even look like poo. My friends didn't even think it was real. And he's like, hold on one second. It ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> like, like they never have any returns because they can just never get past like this fish just being like a fucking dick. Right. I mean, what the fuck do you do when suddenly, suddenly you're hearing that coming out from by, from the back, you know? 
uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know where else. I mean, what other songs do they even wind up playing? It's it's usually that though. It's usually Elvis. Like I mean, it's usually some, Elvis. It's usually that song. It's and like, they're always doing the whole like, oh, it looks kind of like a real mounted fish, and then all of a sudden it like slides its stupid head out from like the plaque, and, and it's just like it starts like bobbing its dumb head, and it's like, oh, I got wait, one for the money. I do for the show. <laughs> well, sing the rest of the song, you stupid fish. <laughs> It's uh Don't give me four bars so you don't get sued. Give me five. Uh but yeah, I mean, you know, it's officious. Uh it's an official fish. That's the way I thought of it, but it's even better when it's nothing but a hound dog. Uh Ryan, <laughs> what do you think officious means? Hey Ryan, do you want me to help you? Bob, go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, uh Yeah, dude. I mean fish is like the thing is is like behind every great success. There's tons of different failures that you don't actually see, right? So, I mean, we have all these different iconic things that you think of, like when you think of like greatness, like, you know, you think of like, you know, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, the Mm -hmm. $2 bill, a unicycle. Um, You think of all these different things. But when you look at like one of the greatest restaurant chains ever, like what is their crowning achievement? Well, like you look at McDonald's. Unlimited soup, salad, like, and breadsticks. Well, a no, garden of olives. Yeah, those are great things, guys. But nothing can top the filet o fish, right? Oh. But before <laughs> they had, before they had that nice filet patty, it was just called officious. And all it was basically, mm. basically, is they would come in and just take parts of fishes, throw it into a big blender, and then just oh. put it in between a bun, and they called oh. it the, the officious. And <laughs> Didn't do too well, so then no. finally, finally they got their manager to come in, which happened to be a plastic mounted <laughs> fish on the wall, and they were able to determine by him playing "Ain't Nothing But a Hound Dog" that they needed to form it into a nice little perfect square, throw some mayo on there, and put it on a bun, and there you go, you have filet o fishes instead of just o fishes. Wait a minute, like is this is this just like parts of the tail and <laughs> yeah. you know what is ain't nothing but hound dog. <laughs> oh wait a second, he's on to something. <laughs> he uh, you know he's nice. right. This does just look like a fish slop sandwich. We should we should deep fry oh, this. God. Oh my god. Shape it. Billy, just, that is great idea. <laughs> I'm just I'm picturing this these these two uh sesame seed buns that have between them this like gooey you know sloppy gray uh <laughs> like just blobs of like kind of fatty mucusy crap uh-huh. listen we're like, not talking about know, their hamburgers we're talking no, about we're, the filet of fish we're talking about the officious which i think it's funny too that it's like that was when they were trying to have it be irish you know, so it was like, oh, apostrophe fishes, you know? It, it does yeah. sound like they stole it from an Irish pub. They did. It was like a, a really shitty, like, Irish peasantry kind of <laughs> dish or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I think everybody's happy that they decided to basically go with the, the more processed version of that. Yeah. Uh, Ex- except the O-Fish. Well, no, of course not. Uh it's oh, like Billy man. Bass sold out his own people. Oh my Wasn't god! Wasn't there some sort of Billy Bass esque thing with like the fillet of fish, like commercial that they did or something? Uh, I can't remember. There's one with like a talking fish that they did. Really? Something about like yeah, it was something did, like don't eat let's, that. Let's talk. Don't. Yeah, let's talk about that for a minute, dude. Like, isn't it weird when the animal that you're eating is also like like when you go to like a chicken place and like a chicken is promoting eating chicken? Yeah, I mean, it is I, odd. I, I mean, I realize that, like, uh, what's that one? Like, the shit. What's that chicken? Oh, uh, Chick fil A. Like, Chick fil A, so, yeah. So they have, like, the cows telling you, like, oh, hey, go eat, go eat chicken. Uh. But, like, yep. you know, whatever. Like, the thing is, like, there is actual food where it's the actual thing being eaten, like, telling you to eat it. It's fucked up, man. Yeah, it is fucked up. And, and, and it's. I I think it's almost okay. So what would you rather have? Would you rather have, you know, like the pig talking about bacon or pork or something? Or would you rather have the animal trying to tell you to not eat it? You know, because I think that's almost as weird. Like, I think the 
the the Chick Fil A cows, I, I get so annoyed every time I see them on TV because it's like, yeah, we fucking get it. You can't spell. It always, it always, <laughs> they always have this dumbass painted. But signs. they know letters. I mean, like, so they what, know letters, and point... yet they always like playfully have them backwards and spelled wrong. And there's an extra I in chicken, and it's like, stop being idiots. Like, we fucking get it. You may as well just have like at least a Times New Roman typeface. Like, if they're smart <laughs> enough to do this, they're gonna be smart enough to make a decent ass sign like it's weird that the signage is what really annoys me about that oh it makes definitely makes me want to eat beef even more i'm like listen this is a yeah. stupid animal it yeah. can write letters it can, it, it's smart enough to write letters and learn like the alphabet on some level but it doesn't follow through and learn how to spell basic words like chicken right i mean come on dude like oh and some of them have like the cows doing some like crazy tricks that like impress humans and stuff and it's like doing shit that they wouldn't normally and then they wind up spelling like an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Listen, the only the only trick I need a cow to do is to sexually unzip its skin off and show me like some prime rib. That's it. What? That sounds so horrible when you put it that way. <laughs> it's got like some like berry white on and stuff. It's like pouring a glass of wine and then it just unzips and be like, which part do you want? <laughs> Ain't nothing but a skin bag. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's they are just walking meat factories. Like that's and it's you know, funny enough, that's actually what we referred to Dave before he left the show. The walking meat factory. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He's just like a he's a hunk. WMF, a hunk. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh walking walking boner factory. <laughs> Someone tell Dave we're calling him that. Walking boner factory. Walking boner factory. Uh this is great. I I'm honestly you know, the the second I heard Bob say officious, wasn't sure we would get too much out of it. It's already potentially one of the greatest things to happen to my week. Uh, <laughs> Bob, I'd love I'd love to know though that as its own word that it stands up. What's uh What's officious mean? You know, your definitions are great, but the actual definition is even better. Okay. So officious is an adjective. It's used to describe an annoying person who tries to tell other people what to do in a way that is uh, not wanted or needed. Okay, all right. Mic drop. All right. Well done. Yeah. Well done. I am the snake eating its own tail. Yes, you are. And I mean, I mean, I like when you fall on the sword for, for your words and, you know, you keep up the whole... You know, you want help with the de- definitions and all. Like, I get it. You know, well, well played. It's a cool. It's a. Was cool, this a uh, long con? Oh, did I just blow your mind? No, have like you been Have you been working con. on doing this for multiple weeks leading up to this one <laughs> definition? <laughs> Hope the for payoff the last, was good. For the last fifty-four episodes, I've yeah. been working on this. Uh, it's and you know it is cool. I, I've said this before with some of the words that we bring. It is cool to have words that have definitions that are that so clearly label how certain people act. You know, like officious, it really is uh it actually describes the cows from the uh from the Chick-fil-A <laughs> commercials pretty well. So <laughs> Yeah. I like it. Don't, I like it a lot. Don't, don't tell me what to eat in poor like poorly written words, you piece yeah. of shit. Go eat Dickheads. Some hay or- corn or whatever they're feeding you these days yeah uh how about some hay ryan you get the next word with the haymaker the haymaker (laughs) and nothing but hound dog (laughs) that's all i'm gonna be picturing tonight like just be walking around and like uh, just fucking plastic fish shaking its tail like singing elvis or or it's like it's it's like sticking up out of like a of like a, a business suit you know like, <laughs> right because it got the got that promotion at spencer gifts so yeah exactly it's, it's going places um yeah my word this week is rabelasian <laughs> <laughs> uh bob, bob how do you think it's spelled Rabble Asian. Uh, let, let's let's go for how it sells. Well, when uh, you say it like R- that, I think Rabble you have to say it like that. Okay. Uh, R a b b l e a s a i a n. Asian. There was I letter. forgot how to spell Asia for a moment. <laughs> there were some letters. Like, in there. <laughs> like how many letters are in Asia? Seven? No. <laughs> You're like one of those Six? fucking cows from the Chick-fil-A commercial <laughs> yeah, Bob, that I'm gonna re- that. referring back to this entire episode. 
Man. Ryan, how's it spelled? All right. Revelation is spelled R A B E L A I S I A N. Oh, wow. There's, oh, there's so well, many extra unnecessary letters in wrong places. Okay. Wait a minute. R A B E L A I S A N? No, no. No, you, there's another I. Yeah, yeah. So it's like basically. You've got two eyes, Suzek. Use them. <laughs> two eyes. Right, right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's another I. Okay. R A B E L A I S A I N. No, S I A N. Nope. So it's oh, like, okay. it's basically like you're trying to spell rabble Asian, like Asian, but you're throwing an extra I in there before so the it's yes. Asian. Yeah. Wow, so that's an odd If I had misspelled word. Asia like I probably wanted to, I would have gotten this yeah, right. You were Correct. Close. Yeah. Mm. You're going to get, you know what, Bob, though? You're going to get 23 effort points. I really liked it. Like, sweet, sweet. I'm already ahead. You're ahead. Look at you. And uh, you're so ahead that you're going to start out and guessing. What do you think Rabelaisian means? I know exactly what this is. I can imagine um, so. Th- this is one of those um, intangible nouns, like an idea. Um, it's it's the idea that the friend that you went to Oktoberfest with, because mm-hmm. this is the month of Oktoberfest. I even brought you a word that started with O. So so this month of Oktoberfest and that friend you went with is he's constantly looking for the opportunity to to finish off your beer in that comically oversized glass boot you bought from that overly clad wench in the beer garden. What? <laughs> I, know, I feel like there's something more. Yeah, I think it, feel, it feels like you did leave us hanging a little bit there. So, so you you go to Oktoberfest and and your buddy Rick is always always looking for that moment to reach over and drink your beer out of the booth. Like, listen, Rick, I saw you reach for my beer when I was listening to that Oompa band. I saw it. You step off my beer, dude, or so help me. Are you reaching for my beer again? <laughs> you, you walk right over there and get your own. Seriously, I'm tired of your shenanigans. Or go get my own if you can say shenanigans in German. Ugh, go get your own. Das shenanigans. <laughs> get out of here. So so a rebel Asian is a dude, like a friend of yours, that keeps going after your beer? Is that kind of the... I feel like that's kind of what I'm getting here. Rick is such a pain when you take him to Oktoberfest. He's yeah. always he's always oogling the accordion player, no matter if he's male or female. It's like, oh, look at that accordion. I think I'm gonna steal it. Shut up, Rick. God, are, you you can't be drunk. All you've had is one hot dog. Das Wiener dog. Fine, Das Wiener dog. Uh, I, I mean, I still am a little bit confused you, which part of uh, that is revelation. I, I, I mean, I I get that Rick's an asshole. Like I know Rick that's Rick is an asshole. Through. We know that much. Uh, I guess. I mean, I, it's because you got like, okay, you got Rick who's trying to take the beer, but then you're also got this German thing that's going on. <laughs> like, <laughs> and why does the German thing make sense if if it's Asian? <laughs> like, what? And why are they playing the polka version of "You Ain't Nothing But a Hound"? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if I can so find that in post, I'm gonna put it in. <laughs> um, uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, well, Germany is much closer to Asia than we are. This is a fact. <laughs> okay. This is true. I'll allow that. Revelation. Geographically correct. Okay. Ra- Ra- I mean, hey, is it Oktoberfest this week? Is that what's going on? I guess. I mean, it's October now. Rocktober. So what? <laughs> It's, it's, I mean, it's like, uh, it's like October lasts the entire month of October after all. So I guess we may as well have Oktoberfest last the entire month too. I don't know. I don't pay attention to when Oktoberfest starts personally. Do you guys? It starts, starts every time I open a German beer. God damn it, Rick. Get away from that. <laughs> Rick. Seriously, dude. Scheisse. I'm looking right at you. Quit slide. Quit. It, it just, he just like looks away from you and just kind of slyly moves his hand towards your beer and you just smack it real quick. Like, I can see you. I, I see you. I'm looking right at my beer and I see that happening. What the hell is wrong with you, Rick? Uh, God, this is the last time I bring you anywhere. <laughs> yes, I know you drove. Shut up. My car's in the shop. Uh, I mean, I'm letting I'm we letting Bob leave. dangle yeah. for a little bit. <laughs> we, but like, the, like we could just go somewhere else if we could. But I mean, the reason I'm doing that too is that uh, Ryan, you have a difficult word here, and and it for is. me to break it down, it is a challenge. 
you know. You, you want me to help you out? No, I don't. I, I would rather I'd rather die than no, I don't know. Uh, I I'm looking at this and I see a couple things that really stand out. First off, uh, in the middle of the word, you got that AI going on. You know, Alan it's Iverson. like that extra eye. Yeah, <laughs> Alan Iverson. You have that extra eye uh, where you don't expect it to be with Asian. And I'm thinking that that indicates that this is something that is artificially uh, intelligent. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so it's something that's maybe fake. That's maybe, uh, you know, something that I guess sort of is is posing to be uh, real in some way. And then, uh, yeah, the rabble part. Now, that's really difficult, you know, because I guess I think of that as being sort of like a, 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 another kind of crazy spelling for rebel. Mm-hmm. And so when I see rabble Asian, I see this intentionally misspelled way in which <laughs> the, fucking ca- the fucking cows from Chick-fil-A. Oh, they're at it again. They're at it again. And they are they are the leaders of a rebel faction. Uh, of art- in, artificially intelligent. Of artificially, in- artificially intelligent uh, cows from Chick-fil-A <laughs> are part of the rebellion. Uh, what is that in China that's going on right now? <laughs> so they're part of an Asian rebellion, oh, and uh, and basically, you know, there's a lot of serious stuff going on in the world, and they're the ones that are like, we're part of this too, except they're carrying around yeah. eat more chicken signs, <laughs> and so they're moderately confused as to what they're protesting <laughs> over yes. there. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So there are a bunch of rabbles without a cause. Uh, except <laughs> we really cause, have to work on their artificial intelligence. They do, they do. I mean, they're barely even intelligent. It's just artificial, uh, kind of like Chick Fil A, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I mean the the rabble Asians. The, I mean, because you don't want. I think part of the thing is that I don't want to come across as someone that hates all cows. There are perfectly fine cows out there. There are perfectly yeah. fine uh, fishes on walls out there. <laughs> um, but I mean, you know, you got these certain ones that behave a certain way. And those are the rabble Asians. Those are the ones that are, you know, that, that are standing out in the parking lots that are saying, you know, we won't stand for this. Eat more misspelled chicken. And, you know. <laughs> And you ain't nothing but a hound dog is playing, <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, that's what I think revelation means. No, I think you're onto something for sure. I mean, like, are they protesting? I feel like they're always kind of protesting in China, and rightfully so, right? They don't. Sure. Like, there's a lot of them. Um, a lot of people living over there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they're upset yeah. about that, I, I'm guessing. Also, I like, guess. Alibaba, that's something that they're upset about, right? I'm not 100% uh, sure what that is. Isn't that like a, isn't Alibaba a a marketplace online marketplace site? It's like uh, a character in Aladdin, like it, it's like a B side, like Return of Jafar, like it, it was like kind of like a subplot to that whole thing. But also, I think yeah, it was it like was a, Return of Jabbar. It was Return of Kareem Abdul Jabbar <laughs> when he came back to the league, uh, right? As a genie, I guess I don't know. Prince, um, uh, it was you know uh, Aladdin and the Prince of Power Forwards. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking James Worthy, just hanging out. Um, <laughs> James Worthy with his goggles. Wilt, Wilt Chamberlain, Kurt Rambis showed up. Um, uh, I, I think probably like Tony Kukoc was there too. <laughs> I love how like I mean to me this is great. You know, talking about really like kind of moderately obscure basketball players from like the early mid nineties. <laughs> yeah, um, and I'm sure most of our listeners are super into that too. But oh, um, they probably are. You have to be. Who isn't? Um, but yeah, no, I'm still confused. I don't know what Alibaba is, but I'm assuming that's what they're protesting. Yeah, they are. They it's have the to news. be. I think they're probably protesting that, and they're just protesting Kobe Bryant because I think everybody should be. Yeah, what an asshole. Yeah, I know. Five uh, rings or something. <laughs> uh, Ryan, please tell us what does Rabelasian mean? Oh yeah, you got it. Um, so Rabelasian means marked by gross, robust humor extravagance of caricature or bold naturalism so just like a really hearty robust humor you know this it's bob huh. bob bob ball again <laughs> most of, most of the words i i look for are like you know digs at bob or 
<laughs> or I just like cutting, bite, chi- biting, con- or uh, you know, criticisms of Bob and. Mm-hmm. That's right, Bob. Listen, I, I would be so angry at you if I understood any of that. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Give give us that definition one more time. Okay, so really mark, marked by gross, robust humor. Gross, That's, robust humor. Okay. Yeah. Nope, don't get it. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's a little bit of uh, ambiguity to that definition. I'm not gonna lie. There but is. To me, no, there is. To me, like when you say something is robust, it's a very like it's a humor that's just. It's humor it's that's meaty. filled with chunky, chunky chicken soup. Yeah, it it's like <laughs> it's basically the the you know meal in a can, you know, fucking soup of humor. Basically, it is. I mean, if we look up robust, strong and healthy, vigorous, you know, so it's like this strong, sturdy kind of humor. You know, Bob is that sturdy, uh, strong sort of like you know reliable kind of you know what you're gonna get every week with him kind of thing except for like, yeah. talk uh, like a pirate week when you're just god like, fucking no, that's what really we're getting know. this whole yeah the whole fucking ugh, christ sturdy is how i would describe a woman that could carry a cow over her shoulder from from the barn to the front door yeah after it's dead not necessarily the girl i'd want to marry but sturdy she's very sturdy yeah I, I actually, I actually like that a lot. Uh, it, was there another part to that definition? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's basically just kind of building on top of that, marked by gross, robust humor, also extravagance of caricature. Like ah, uh, yeah. Now that's perfect for Bob. Yeah, that's it, perfect for him. Bold yeah. naturalism. So just yeah, just I think someone, if you if you're Rabelaisian, like if you're a Rabelaisian, like you you just basically you have a very like sense of self where you can just. You know, you're confident with your humor to a point where it's robust and extravagant right. and bold. And and, and fleshed yeah. out. Sometimes when Bob has characters, he fleshes them out. You know, you we know all about the secret octopus <laughs> and we know uh, Did somebody call me. <laughs> yeah, Love it. I think Bob just basically spends half his day in front of the mirror, like working out these characters. <laughs> right. So he like has that like the Rick, like the Rick Moranis butterfly too. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> That's my favorite one. The fucking butterfly. I love it so much. Uh, what? You ain't nothing but a hound. <laughs> Crying um, all the time. I know that we. I, I think at one point I, we may have made a list for Bob of his characters, and uh, and it, it is very. It's a robust lineup. Uh, and it scares me because I do think at some point if we had like, you know, if we were if we were short, you know, one or two of us, he could potentially do a whole show. Would it go well? Not necessarily, but, <laughs> you know, I would I would listen to it. Definitely. We're workshopping it. <laughs> so uh, we're we got, you know, we are down one person. So we're on our last word this week. It's me. I have last word. My word this week is scunner. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the scunner, the stone cold scunner. Uh, Brian, how do you think scunner is spelled? I mean, it's got to be S K U N N E R. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, the K would have been awesome, but it's S C U N N E R. Scunner. That, that lets the air right out of it. Uh. Bob, how do you think Dave would pronounce Scunner? Uh, he might go for Schooner. <laughs> he might, yeah. I could like, hear this that. Is, this is another way you pronounce Schooner when you're eating your Philly cheesesteak. Scunner. Uh, or he might go, give me just a moment for it. Okay. Schooner! <laughs> that, that's that's him as the Rick Moranis butterfly. Mm. Um. So I, I know exactly what Scunner is. Okay, please go for uh, it. Um, first, let me ask you this. What do these things have in common? Oktoberfest, okay. David Hasselhoff, craft beers, inflatable wiener dogs, and keg tapping. Uh, Germany. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out this online puzzle I was having trouble with while you two were talking about basketball players. Oh, okay. Oh, right. So um, like 54 down is, is Baywatch. Uh, and uh, then... They had inflatable wiener dogs on Baywatch. They probably did. They probably, they probably did. did. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Scudder. Uh, you know, time marches on, and so does the driving beat of the Oktoberfest Oompa Band. You know, Oompa, 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 Oompa. So, your friend Rick, 
He's he's got a nickname at work, you know, Rick. The pr- anyway, uh, <laughs> Rick. He's 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 the only one that puts up with your love of of your love of Christmas themed Legos. So, you know, you got to go to Oktoberfest with him. And and Scunner is that special time when your friend Rick gets arrested because he wandered over to the accordion player in the Oompa band and threw <laughs> up all over the accordion. You you can't play that anymore. I mean, you can't even tell what he ate. Okay, so you got you got an asshole that threw up on an accordion. Yeah, so I mean, far. you can't even tell what was in there. You, you can pick out like four pieces of like hot dogs. What what looks like it might have been a you know one of those giant pretzels. A mick a mick of fishes. Wait a second. Rick didn't buy a pretzel. Where the hell is my pretzel? Oh, damn it, Rick! <laughs> I'm glad your stupid vomiting on the accordion player face is going to be in the big house, even if it's, even if I'm going to have to bail you out in the morning. Well, it'll be late morning, Rick. Definitely after brunch, Rick. Maybe after my massage to release some of the stress of what is obviously the worst Oktoberfest celebration that I, and probably that accordion player, have ever had. And, and that's that, Scunner. That's Scunner. Okay, so I like... <clears throat> I like... The rare occasion when we have a thread that we carry on. And right now, this asshole Rick, like, okay, you you had me really confused the first time, and now I'm in, now you have my attention, you know? Because first off, I want to know why do you keep hanging around this guy? Yeah, what what are you stealing? He's stealing your beer and your pretzels. Like, what an asshole, you know? Listen, the entirety of my house is built out of Christmas-themed Legos. I love them. I can't get enough of them. Okay. And and he's the only one who will put up with it. By the way, I really think you're telling the truth yeah, on that. Yeah, like, I, I totally could believe that. Yeah. I, I would believe that. None of this is true, Internet. None of it is true. <laughs> I just want you to know this is all for comedy. None of this is... D- you. No, and I won't invite you over. No, you cannot bring a camera inside. It's like a museum here. I get zipped into my plastic bag every night. It's very clean. No one do you touches call the Legos. It, do you call it the sack? Is that where the ball lives? <laughs> ah, Got to get in my ball sack. Uh... But but l- l- listen, e- everybody's got to hang out with somebody. Unfortunately, I have to hang out with Rick. Are you like related to Rick? Is he like your cousin or something? And it's like, oh, this motherfucker, you know? You just can't trust him. It's like that third cousin that your mom says, "Oh, you should hang out with Rick. His his parents are worried about him. His parents should be worried about him, mom. They should be. Have you seen the way he lives? It's like an animal. Just walks around upright with a sandwich board, stuff all spelled wrong." So, Bob, at what point will you or did you realize that Rick is a fake fish mounted to a board that <laughs> works at Spencer Gifts. <laughs> Just got that new promotion? Yeah. Does he and- sing Elvis a lot? <laughs> you ain't nothing but a hand on one dollar. You know the time. Uh, he, he does. Yeah? Yeah. God, Rick. God damn it, Rick. Uh, all right. Well, Ryan, what do you think Scunner means? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Rick is totally a name where it's like, that is like the perfect name for an annoying friend. It's just like, ah, oh, fucking is. Rick. Fucking Rick. Uh, who's it really Rick is. anymore these days, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, this is a tough word, but um, Scunner... Can we help you with it? Um, let me think first. No, yeah, nope. 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 Okay. Uh, is it Oktoberfest this week? It's October, October this week. Because okay. I mean... <laughs> it seems like you did mention that October lasts the almost the whole month of October. Last time I checked, it does. Okay, yeah. so don't Oktoberfest. don't hold me to that. Okay, sure. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, Scunner. Sometimes you know, like I I like the TV show Lost, or at least I like the first couple seasons. I mm-hmm. like to think of the possibility of having multiple, and I don't even know if this was part of the plot of Lost. I just like to imagine it was. Like I filled kind of out the plot after season three because it just got so horrible. Um, 
that's kind of a dig at you, Susan, because I know you're going to get I all know. pissed off. Oh, fuck, great show. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> I do like... Are you still, are you still mad about yeah. all the discussion last yeah, week with you, how dude. the Beatles are yeah, overrated? It's like you Is just that need what to we're... go listen to music, dude. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. Oh, I need to attack your taste. <laughs> Stop Ryan Lewis. And I, and, I, and I do like how you ended... Mike end up, end up being like some sort of orangutan at the end. <laughs> I do that. I, I, I was in any which way would lose. I pictured a giant mustard. <laughs> uh, eat more something. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Um, but I like to imagine like the possibility of having like multiple different timelines in your universe, yeah. right? Like you make yeah. one decision and like maybe there's like a different alternate universe where you made the decision to like, you know, not get that promotion at Spencer Gifts and you're just some <laughs> shitty <laughs> plastic fish that doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> doesn't get to give people discounts on fake vomit. So, um, but uh, I like to think that in that alt- in a certain alternate universe somewhere, uh, Avril Lavigne, her hit <laughs> album is not called Skater Boy. It's called Scunner Boy. And it's a, <laughs> this alternate universe where basically like people ride around on scun boards and they make things so complicated all the time. <laughs> And she just wants to know, hey, Scunner boy, why do you got to make things so complicated? I I also like to think in this alternate timeline that Avril Lavigne is like a creepy German dude at a discotheque. <laughs> His name's <laughs> Rick. <laughs> His name's Rick. Ah, she was a Scunner boy, a sexy little boy. <laughs> she was a Scunner boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah dude, she was a Scunner she... boy. <laughs> no, I think that makes perfect sense. I mean, like, and who are we to say that that's not that universe's perfect scenario? You know, to have, have <laughs> it per- probably is. Yeah, it makes sense. It might be better than our universe's perfect scenario. I I love I love alternate universe uh, theories and like yeah. science. I love that kind of science fiction style. Even and 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 I like it even when it's not executed perfectly. Just because I think that the whole concept and thought is kind of dreamy and it's kind of like this. It makes you wonder and stuff. But I think it's even funnier though when we talk about the alternate timelines that could be that just sound absolutely stupid. You know. <laughs> well, I think like, most people like if you think about alternate timeline like well what happens to avril like what is she in that you know i mean that's like one of your main sure. questions you're like it's not it's like, one of the first ones yeah yeah it's like you know what if the bullet didn't hit kennedy right no it's actually like what if avril lived in a universe where it's not a skater it's a scunner boy right you know, i think that's a pretty legitimate worry right i don't know maybe not and, and, and her, she's and her name was Avrik Ravine. <laughs> Avrik Ravine. She was a German discotheque. <laughs> yeah. Wildflower. She was a scammer boy. I said, see you later, boy. <laughs> Rammstein. <laughs> du hast. Du hast. Uh, and and, and when Avrik is on tour, every photo that's taken with one of her, the people that love her, they're actually standing next to each other instead of three feet apart, like they're at the oh, uh, junior prom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you I, see that? I did. That's awesome. For those who haven't seen it, you should go look up photos. Uh, what what was the name of the tour even? But she she would take photos with someone. They were allowed to stand near her, but they couldn't. I mean, there was obviously twenty four inches at least between her and oh, the other person. So, it's so awkward. Oh, dude. They, they, but they're great. No, that, they're great. You, would you, would with... anyone have ever seen any of those photos if she hadn't done that? This no, is true. this is true. That's the thing. Like, I think that same thing that you're talking about, like, it's even better when it's juxtaposed aside, uh, beside uh, fucking Rihanna and her fans. Like, there's this article that had, like, <laughs> yes. comparing, like, Avril Lavigne and Rihanna. And Rihanna's, like, freaking, like, copping a feel on chicks and, like, freaking just mounting people and shit. And then there's, like, Avril Lavigne, like, looks, like, fucking depressed as shit. Like, oh, my God, like, yeah. Three feet Holy away crap. from her fans. So, so I didn't know about this, and I'm now Googling it. And, yeah, when you start Googling it, Ryan, it says, like, Avril versus, like, Rihanna yeah. as well. So that is definitely a thing. But, oh, my God, some of these people, like, they do the little, like, they're kind of holding their own hands and just, like, leaning their head and stuff a little bit towards where she's standing and they're kind of <laughs> leaning towards her and it's like oh my god it's so awkward when in your life would you ever take a picture where you're like with somebody and like the picture is supposed to be you with somebody and like they're just like can you leave some space in yeah us? like no to, I, I i have seen pictures like on facebook of like friends that this was like high school 
era ish, you know, that like they posted old photos, you know, people do all these like fucking throwback Thursdays and shit. Yeah. And they posted, I, this happened, this had to have been in the last like maybe year. And I saw someone post it where it was like a group photo and it was five people and they all had like, they were standing in a line together and there was like this noticeable gap in space between each person. And I'm like, wow, did you guys like sort yourselves or something? Like, it's just so <laughs> unusual and stuff. Like, I always do the kind of arm around, you know. I, you know, I'm not afraid to put a little, you know, get a little close. That's you're yeah, we know you're, you're handsy. Someone. We get I'm it. I'm handsy. You don't know where the other hand is, and that's kind of part of the fun. I want well, whoever is in the picture does. Hello. Well, they have an idea, but that's that's the the fun part though. Is that <laughs> doctor the, to the left? The person that's observing the photo doesn't own. That's part of the fun. But I mean, oh my God, Avril, you got to learn to take pictures with your fans. Like it's so ridiculous. Just looks so awkward and <laughs> holy fuck. I'll tell you, Avric is going to be much more like Rihanna. Uh, definitely, definitely. And alternate. I was going to say alternate universe, alternate timeline stuff. Uh. <laughs> the fact that Avril Lavigne's the first to come up is amazing, <laughs> but there's probably so many other uh, alternate universe things. Like, there's got to be stuff we prefer, uh, stuff we maybe wouldn't prefer that happen, like President Fish would be the thing. Uh, <laughs> you know? I don't know. Uh, there's there's a lot. I, I don't even really know where to begin, but she was a scunner boy is probably the best start. <laughs> That's our jumping off point from there. Like the possibilities are endless. They are. Uh, let me let me drop some uh, l- drop a definition on you guys. Scunner. It means it's a noun. Uh, well, there there is actually a noun and a verb version. The noun is a strong dislike, and the verb is to feel a disgust or a strong dislike. So so you can s- kind of scun or something or scun something. Hmm. Uh, but I like, uh, like an accent when you said that. Like, so you can skin, skin or something, or you can go skin it. If you, I mean, I think that word's hard <laughs> it's to a say. Scot- it's a Scottish word. It's a Scottish word uh, oh. originally. But but yeah, a strong dislike to have a. Why do you have a scunner against him? You know, how do you not say it that way? <laughs> scunner, scunner. I just love the idea of you know. Cause it's, I always say like, oh, I fucking hate that shit, you know, but I can, I can now use scunner. And I, and I think that would be, I think it's fun to say it. It's almost unfortunate, almost unfortunate that Dave isn't here because Dave would, I think would appreciate this word. I think this is a Hinkle word. Don't you guys think? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Dig it. Yeah. I think it's a, it's definitely a Hinkle word. Um, there yeah all right so we got three words uh we got their definitions in. let's get ourselves some escalator pitches and get to some voting how about that that sounds like yeah. a plan uh bob you had a word this week hey you want, you want me to when you help you out hey um officious yeah officious is a word that you friends should love why you may ask go ahead and ask why? Why? Because it's used to describe an annoying person who tells you how to do stuff. Oh yeah. God damn. I can't. I. I don't. You understand walked how right into it. Ah, oh, the beauty of it. Officious. I don't know how you do it. I don't get it. Hang on, it's my agent calling. You think I'm kidding? It actually is my agent calling. <laughs> what? No. Hey, Bernie. Uh, Ber- yeah, I can't talk right now. Yes, they're here in the room. Okay, bye. I'll, I'll cut this out on post because actually that was my alarm to wake up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was close. That's, yeah, all right. Uh, so, Bob's doing this podcast in bed, by the way. Like he's got yeah. his jammies on, his nightcap, and he's just like, oh, we're Rango. This is what he sounds like right when he wakes up. I, I do. I wouldn't be surprised by that at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ryan, please give us your escalator pi- <laughs> escalator pitch for Rabelation. No, give us the escalator perch. My escalator yeah, there, hit that red button. Wait, am I hit that red button pitching? underneath the fish. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't nothing but a hound. No, okay. <laughs> God, my grandma had one of those. I, that's why it's so near and dear to my heart here. I know, right? Yeah, I mean, everyone has a Billy Bass in their life. So. Uh, yeah, so my word this week, Rabelasian. Um, I just, I don't know. Like, I kind of like it when, like, TV shows or people in general, like, when they try to, like, imitate, like, a crowd of people talking. 
They're like, rabble, 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 rabble. Yeah, yeah. And then you throw the Asian in on the end, and you're like, you know, it's just <laughs> a word that just kind of just, it, it's a fun word, you know? It is. Um, and, carrots, and it's peas got... Peas and carrots, peas and carrots, peas and carrots. Rabble, 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 So... That's all I got because the definition isn't amazing, but it uh, also describes Bob Ball. Yeah, no, I think I think the definition is stronger than you're than you're giving yourself credit for. Definitely, this is. By the way, I gave us you know an unnecessary amount of shit last week for our words, but I did that knowing that this week was going to be great, and I was right. Like this is a good week of words, even if even it's without, only three. Yeah, even if it's only three, it really stands up, it, and it kind of makes me sad because damn, I I want to know what Dave would think of these ones. You know, maybe we'll actually take a moment to ask him uh, before we start next week. Uh, I did text him to see if he would get anything in at all before we finish this episode, but eh, we'll see. Who knows? Uh, awesome. All right, mine. Skinner. Uh, God damn, I love saying this word. <laughs> you know how I feel about Scottish words. <laughs> I, I think that's... The Skinner! Skinner! <laughs> you used me! <laughs> there is no Scotchtoberfest. Scotch, Damn it, Willie! Scotchtoberfest. <laughs> I love, I love that. I love, I love that. And and Simpsons <laughs> references. See, <laughs> someone had to bring the Simpsons reference this week. Uh, but yeah, Skunner. It's so fun to say. It means having a strong dislike. I think it's because it's such a basic ass definition. That means that it's so usable in the real world. And you know, we're all a little bit of a scunner boy. <laughs> There's a little bit of an alternate timeline Avril Lavigne in all of us. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe this is the world where Avril, Avril Lavigne is actually the real Avril Lavigne. Avril uh, Ravine is <laughs> shrunk down uh, in living inside seal or something you know Ooh, man the the, the rango verse gets deeper and deeper yeah <laughs> fucking, at least not? into seal sure Skinner. Love uh it. i love that word and i love i love your words too guys this is going to be a really tough one to vote you only get uh, one vote right you only get one vote i mean uh i could say two votes like i did one week that we had three and it, it really made me look like an idiot. So <laughs> math. So <laughs> fuck math, man. Uh, Bob, you can start off. You have. Hey, let to me pick help you. Um, between I, Rabble Asian I, and Scum. I got. I got this. Let me help you out. Um, so there's three words to vote for. Okay. Um, and I'm going to vote for officious. Nope, can't do that. What? Yeah. There were three words for me to nope. vote for last week. Yeah. What? You just going to randomly take one away from me? I did. I really changed the game this week. Uh, this is an alternate fine. timeline word Rango that's happening. <laughs> yeah. Fine. I will vote for Rabble a Scunner. Whoa, Scunner? Mm. Which one okay, you have to pick one of these two. They're both really good, but you have to pick only one. If I have to pick only one, it's officious. No, oh, god damn it, Bob. Rabble Asian or Scunner? Rabble Asian. Okay. Rabble Asian it is. Right after officious. Oh my god. Bob is like the walking who's on first, like fucking one he's, man show. Like God, he's 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 like his own fucking version of the you know, the Billy B- Billy the Loudmouth Bath. <laughs> bath. <laughs> the bath. bath, the bath bass. I don't fucking know anymore. <laughs> Ryan, let's have you go next. You have to pick between Scunner and Officious. And by oh. all means, take your time. Sort through this. Try and I want you to try and make sure that you're making the right choice for you. you Would know? you like me to help you? Um, I think I'm good on this one. Like the thing is, is like I've got my I have a pros and cons sheet sitting right here. It's got pros and cons. Like Scunner. Love the uh Avril Levine alternate universe Avric Levine. Uh Officious. And, and, and in the con column is Bob. <laughs> the con column, yeah. <laughs> That's what's so funny about every single word is the con column is Bob. Um, All I have to do is erase the pro column and fill it out for another week. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. I just have a. I use a permanent marker when I wrote the the, the con column. Um, but yeah, no, both the words are great. Um, but you know, like I'm going to be thinking about fucking Billy Bass the rest of the night. So <laughs> officious <laughs> has to be my word. Yeah. Damn. I can't believe I swayed something else. You know, like it was my doing. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. You, you Manchurian right. candidated yourself. 
All right, but on the on the plus side, we have to have a winner because I can't pick my own word. I'm not pulling a Bob. God you ain't nothing Bob. but a how dog. <laughs> and uh, so it's down to me. I can't pick Scunner. I got to pick between Officious and Rabelaisian. Man, this is this is good. This is really good. I didn't think that I'd like Officious as much as I do, but I really mm-hmm. do like that. But <clears throat> Ryan, you don't often get me with your like longer words that have a lot to them. But Rabelaisian just really it really gets me in the right spot. So I gotta pick that. Uh, congratulations, Ryan! You win this week. <laughs> This alternate timeline word rango with rabble Asian. Rabble, rabble. Rabble, 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 rabble. <laughs> it's, uh, it's goddamn good. This is what it is. This is great. Uh, we just proved that we can exist in a, in a universe without Dave Hinkle on the show. <laughs> uh, but it's not the preferred method. We'll no. have it back next week. I'm sure of it. Definitely. And, uh, Bob, if people want to write in and, uh, and tell us to eat more chicken, how do they do that? Friends, you could officiously send us an email to wordrango at gmail.com. You can also get us on the Facebooks. We post lots of fun stuff on there, including these episodes. It's facebook.com slash wordrango. You'll see a theme and a thread going through all of this. Uh, You can get us on Twitter, twitter.com slash wordrango. There are lots of people to thank from Twitter. Thanks to Catherine Isham on Twitter for telling the gents over at the Wait, you haven't seen podcast that she's leaving them for us. But, Catherine, I don't think you understand how podcast relationships work. If you tell them you're going to leave, in your heart, you're already ours. <laughs> now, Obo Crazy said she's headed for rehearsal, going to listen to Word Rango and pick out a word to use at some point with the brass guys, which I can only presume means they're tarnished. Um, Seven Rabbis says, at Word Rango, congrats on the big five O. I know I'm a little late on reading these. Uh, also, thanks to Achubo Nana Noya, Justin McElroy, Nick Bristow, The Double J, The Press Row Podcast, and, of course, Lady Gaga. Also, you should listen to us on the Stitchers and the iTunes, as well as WordRango.com. Um, just go search for WordRango on Stitcher or iTunes, or, you know that iTunes link? bit.ly slash WordRango. Go there. Send your friends there. Send your mom there. Go over to your mom's house. Download every episode. Delete them and then download them again. Hmm. Hmm. Seems that like seems a, a little seems cheap, but I'll take it. Why not? <laughs> you know, go to more. your go to your local parishioner. Break in. Download Word Rango. Delete them and then download them again. Go to your local Apple store. Then go up to every <laughs> device and download Word Rango. Hold on. Go to four years and get a bachelor's degree in mathematics. Get your master's in computer science. Write a script that hacks into the iTunes store and downloads Word Rango on every device ever. Holy shit. If someone did that. I'm just, no, that's asking that. If someone did that, holy crap, I'd dedication. be all over that. Yeah. Definitely. I would buy them their own big mouth Billy Bass. You know what would be easier to get away with? Is if you just went into the Microsoft store and downloaded word rango on every computer in there and no one's going to stop you because there's like four people in there would it be considered guerrilla marketing if we uh invented a virus that we could use to send out and infect like thousands of people's computers uh except all it did is it downloaded word rango (laughs) (laughs) That's such like a like think about how much time it takes to like learn how to create a virus and like <laughs> know, right? then to make one that's like you know that, that gets through all these different security <laughs> you know, I know and, right? then, and it's like what does it do oh yeah it just downloads this podcast uh, that talks about fucking Billy Bass and yeah. like Avril Lavigne <laughs> yeah, alternate universes yeah that's uh, yeah. most destructive virus ever it's like the tetragram virus and it's yeah <laughs> that's what it's called yeah yeah. Yeah. But I, is that I what Dave's do doing it. this week? Probably. Oh, Dave, get to work. Yeah, yeah Dave, Dave's doing so. the abbreviated version where he just basically uh, fills out an email form to sign up for ITT Tech, and that's as far as he goes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the first step for Dave. He would definitely do that. He's got a uh, shortcut to that on his desktop. And yeah, if you go to bit.ly slash wordrango, it'll take you to our iTunes page where you can leave us a review. Five stars is great. It's the preferred thing. Uh, it helps us a whole bunch and uh, what also helps us is just sharing the episode with a friend 
uh, it, it's awesome. And, and I've been taking a look at some of the, the subscriber numbers, and I know that we get a lot more downloads than we do have people that appear to automatically download the episode to their devices, and it's really it's it's convenient that way. If you have uh, an Android phone, for instance, and uh, you use a Podcatcher app like Beyond Pod, you can use our RSS feed that's on WordRango.com, uh, and you can subscribe that way and just have it automatically just sync up. It's pretty sweet, uh, and you can do the same thing through iTunes if you have an iPhone. Uh, it's you know all those things are, are super convenient, uh, and you can also listen at WordRango.com. All these things are helpful. Just you know share the episode with a friend and uh, you know share it with a fellow Avril Levine enthusiast, and uh, and I think you know it, it helps us a whole bunch. We love the idea of. Of growing the show and getting, you know, more people to appreciate some crazy ass words that we have. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I think this is one of those weeks that demonstrates exactly why people listen to the show <laughs> in some way. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and, and if you're liking it, awesome. We'll see you guys next week. We're going to have four more words and their definitions. This has been Word Rango. It ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> And go hug your local accordion player. Accor- accordionist? <laughs> Accordionado? Accordion. Das Accordist. <laughs> ja. Der Wiener Schnitzel. Du no, has. that's wrong. Du hast Billy Bass. Ba- Bob loves him a, <laughs> a, a themed episode about he like does. just the most random ass holidays or days ever. Yeah, this one's going to, my jokes this week are all going to revolve around Arbor Mist. Thanks, Bob.